Advanced Features of Excel 2010 Charts Chart Graphical representation of data is called a chart. Charts are the tools used to display series of numeric data arranged as rows and columns in a graphical format where data is the collection of facts and figures. Components of a chart Chart area the placeholder which contains the chart and its parts. Plot area. It is the place where the chart and its components are present. Data series. The data that is plotted as a chart. Axis. Most types of charts contain data values on vertical axis and categories on horizontal axis. Axis titles. Title of the axis. Legend. These are the identifiers used to identify each of the data series. Data table. Grid of data containing data series. Chart title. Heading of the chart. Creating a chart. Before you create a chart, you must have valid data to represent it in graphical form. To create a chart, select the Insert tab. Select any chart type from the Charts group. Chart will appear on your spreadsheet. There are various types of charts. Some of the commonly used charts in MS Excel include Column Chart, Bar Chart, Pie Chart and Line Chart. Column Chart Column Chart is the most used chart in MS Excel. It displays values for one or more series using vertical columns. Values are displayed on vertical axis and categories are displayed on horizontal axis. These charts are typically used to compare various value categories by using vertical bars or columns. Let's take an example to compare the age and weight of different students. When these values are put in chart form, it becomes easy to infer and analyze the data. Using a column chart to represent data makes a visual impact of highs and lows in each category. Types of column charts there are different types of column charts available in MS Excel. You can select the one most suitable to represent your data. First, select the data to be plotted and then go to the Charts group of Insert tab. From here, you have to select the Column option. This will give you a display of the different types of column charts like 2D, 3D, Cylinder, pyramid and cone. To insert the chosen chart, just click on its icon. Bar chart. A bar chart displays the comparison of data items as sets of horizontal bars. Values are displayed on horizontal axis and categories are displayed on vertical axis. There are different types of bar charts which can be selected through the drop-down menu like 2D, 3D, Cylinder, Cone and Pyramid. Types of Bar Charts To select a type and insert a bar graph in your spreadsheet, first select the data to be plotted. From the Insert tab, go to the Charts group and select Bar option. A list of various bar charts appears. Click on the one you want to select. The data will get represented in the selected chart. Pie chart. A pie chart is in the circular format. It is used to represent one data series to view the contribution of each segment of data to be the whole data series. A pie chart can only be drawn for one set of data series. The circle is divided into triangular sections each of these sections represent the quantities as a percentage which adds up to 100. 
since only one set of data can be used, in the example, age is plotted in the pie chart. The legend is displayed by picking up names from the student's column. Types of pie charts Pie charts can be represented in different styles to make an impact. Here are the steps to represent pie charts in different ways. Select the data to be plotted. Click on Pie option from Charts group of Insert tab. A list of various chart types appears like 2D Pie and 3D Pie. Click on the appropriate icon from the list and your data will be represented in the selected chart. Line Chart This chart is used to display trends over a time period by connecting dots. A line chart can be drawn for one or more sets of data. The relationship between the two trends can also be studied. Each line indicates a data item. Consider the table depicting the age and weights of five students. This data can be represented as line chart for easy understanding of the relationship between age and the weights of people. Types of line charts Line charts can be represented in different styles to make an impact. Steps to represent line charts in different ways are First, select the data to be plotted. Then, click on Line option from Charts group of Insert tab. A list of various chart types appears. Choose any type of line chart from 2D and 3D type. Finally, click on the appropriate icon. Your data will be represented in the selected type of chart. Formatting a chart and legend Once you create a chart, it's easy to format and enhance your chart using Format tab. Format ribbon has five groups. Current selection, shape styles, word art styles, arrange and size. Shape Styles group has more than 40 styles for the chart area. To format the chart area, select a chart and click on Format tab. Click on drop-down arrow next to Shape Styles in the Shape Styles group. A drop-down menu appears. Select any shape style from the menu. To change the color of chart area by using Shape Fill option, Click on Shape Fill option from Shape Styles group. Shape Fill drop down menu appears. Select any color from theme or standard colors. To choose no color, click on No Fill option. To choose more standard and themed colors, click on More Fill Colors option. To insert picture on chart area, click on Picture option. To add gradient on chart area, click on gradient option from menu. To add texture, click on texture option. Similarly, you can add outline and shadow effects on your chart area by using shape outline and shape effects option from shape styles group. Word art styles group options enable you to add word art to the chart or modify existing texts like legends, access titles, etc. to those styles. The steps to add word art styles on chart include Select chart and click on Format tab. Click on down arrow next to word art styles in word art styles group. Drop down menu appears. Select any style from the menu. Word art will appear on chart. To change the color of legend text entries, click on down arrow next to the text fill box. Select color from the drop down menu. When you select a color, you can immediately see the change. To change the text outline, click on down arrow next to the text outline box. 
select any outline color from menu, Legends Outline Color will change. To add text effects, click on Text Effects box. Drop-down menu appears. Many text effects are available in menu. Select any text effect from menu. Then click the arrow at the right bottom corner of the size group to open Size and Properties dialog box. Using the options of this dialog box, you can change the size and related properties of the graph. After resizing, you just need to click the Close button at the bottom of the dialog box. Formatting Value Axis Click the X-axis or Y-axis directly in the chart or click the drop-down arrow next to Chart Elements in the Current Selection group of the Format tab. Then click Horizontal or Category Axis for X-axis or Vertical Value Axis for the Y-axis on its drop-down list. Click the Format Selection option in the Current Selection group of the Format tab. Excel opens the Format Access dialog box containing the following tabs. Access Options, Number, Fill, Line Color, Line Style, Shadow, 3D Format and Alignment. Formatting Data Series you can format data series by changing colors, border styles and border colors of bar applying shadow effects. To format data series, right click on chart and then select format data series option from context menu. Format data series dialog box will appear. Select fill option and then select solid fill option and choose any theme color. You can also select any gradient and picture or texture from the fill menu. To change the border color, click on border color. Select any option from the border color menu. To change the border styles, click on border styles option from the menu. You can change the type and width of border using border styles menu. Inserting picture in chart. You can enhance the chart by inserting a picture in the chart area. To do this, click the down arrow next to the Shape Fill option in the Shape Styles group on the Format tab. Select the Picture option from the menu. Insert Picture dialog box will appear. Select any picture and click on Insert button. Your selected picture will be inserted on the chart. Goal Seek Goal Seek is used to get a particular result when we are not sure of the starting value. It helps to find the target result. Let's take an example. Suppose you have four subjects. You know marks of only three subjects and the overall percentage that is 58.88%. If you want to know the marks of fourth subject, you can use Goal Seek. Enter marks of three subjects, calculate sum total of all four subjects and find percentage taking all the four subjects. We want our target result, that is the percentage, to be 58.88. To use Goal Seek, click the Data tab. Click on the What If Analysis in the Data Tools group. Select Goal Seek option from the drop down menu. Goal Seek dialog box appears. Enter Science cell address, which is C7, in Set cell box. Enter target value 58.88 in To Value box. And finally, select cell address of science marks, which is $C, $5, by clicking on this icon in By Changing Cell. After filling the fields, click OK. The science marks will automatically be calculated, that is 
and the result will be shown. Consolidating and grouping worksheets. The consolidation tool in Excel is used to summarize data from multiple worksheets into a single worksheet. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose we have first sheet in which we have a value 1800. On another second sheet, we also have a value 2000. Now on third sheet, we want a total of value of first and second sheets. To do this, follow the given steps. Click on Consolidate in the Data Tools group on the Data tab. Consolidate dialog box will open. You have to give reference of first sheet and add then of second sheet. Click OK. The result will be displayed in the third sheet.